Hello world, this is Random Fix and today I'm going to be showing you how to check your fuel pressure regulator. And this is the fuel pressure regulator here on this 2004 Ford Mustang Mach 1. And what happens a lot of times is people are trying to fix their car, they have a misfire in one of the cylinders or in all of them and they can't seem to figure it out and sometimes they even go and sell the vehicle because they don't think it's worth fixing and there's so much damage and what it could be it could be something fuel related so one of the components that they often overlook is going to be the fuel pressure regulator and this is something that you can easily check and I'm going to show you guys how to do this just remove by removing this right here this is going to be the vacuum coming off the motor you can use a vacuum gauge like this and I'm going to show you guys how to do that step two and the other thing you can do is you can use a scanner and I'll show you guys how to do that as well and I have a fuel pressure gauge hooked up on my vehicle already right there so it makes it a little easier for me to see what's going on with the vehicle but you can uh, just do it on the spot and see if it makes a difference and uh, so the fuel pressure regulator basically keeps the fuel pressure within a certain specification normally over 30 and under 40 and uh, you don't want some crazy spikes in your fuel uh, system because the injectors here which are located underneath this rail right here and they go into the cylinder head right, right here on top of the motor and they're actually designed to work in, at a certain pressure so if you have too much pressure that can actually be bad for the injector and too little pressure will cause the same kind of misfires and random occurrences that can make troubleshooting a nightmare so let me go ahead and get the motor started and I'm going to show you what to look for let me go ahead and show you guys how to do this now and with my motor on the fuel pressure instantly raised up to about 30 psi so there's our fuel pressure whenever I give a gas you should see a spike like that but it shouldn't go up beyond really beyond 40 and shouldn't drop really under 30 at all for you to have a good running motor. So my fuel pressure is about 30 psi right there and anytime I remove the vacuum from the motor here on the fuel regulator you should see it spike up and instantly we're at 40 and that's something you kind of want to keep a note on and you have the strongest vacuum at idle so when you give a it gas it's gonna it's gonna go ahead and lessen the vacuum on here there's a diaphragm in, inside here and what that diaphragm will do is when you're giving a gas it will lower and raise the fuel pressure depending on what it's specified to do and you shouldn't see any kind of gas or smell any gasoline fumes in the hose as well as around the nipple area here so you want to make sure you have a good functioning fuel pressure regulator and I'm going to show you guys how to test this now I'm going to show you guys how to test it using a vacuum gauge I right, got that sealed up so that's not leaking out and you can use a vacuum gauge just like that and keep an eye out on this guy sorry I know it's backwards but watch when I increase the vacuum on the fuel pressure regulator the fuel pressure actually goes down so when I raise it up really fast So always kind of keep an eye out and make sure you have a good functioning fuel pressure regulator and before the fuel gets to the fuel pressure regulator it goes through a couple other obstacles that may lessen the pressure and one of the obstacles that it goes through is this fuel filter this is the fuel filter from this vehicle that's how I actually fixed it I replaced the fuel filter on this car and I spent I think about 15 bucks total doing this myself and now I have a vehicle that runs, it's going to pass smog and it's going to be a lot of fun for a V8 stick shift sports car and a lot of mechanics overlook this, do not forget about the fuel filter the sad thing about the fuel filter these days, a lot of times they're built into the actual fuel pump so it makes it a little bit harder to service but if your vehicle has a fuel filter like this that can be serviced and it's not running well, make sure this is one of the very first things that you do 
you will thank yourself. And now I'm going to show you guys how to actually check this on a portable scan tool like this. And this guy's is under 70 bucks. I'll have a link to it in the description box below. And it's amazing. It gives you live data. And it's going to save you a bunch of money on your car repairs. And before we do that, we're going to go ahead and reconnect everything back the way it's supposed to be. So get that and disconnect that. So everything's back to spec. All right, with my scanner hooked up, I'm gonna be able to look at some things here. This is called a data stream, and it gives me active information about the car as it's running, tell you the speed, the RPM, but it's got eight pages of information. But what we wanna do is we wanna pay attention to this coming screen right here. And And right here we can actually look at the lowest item right here and at the very bottom here we can see fuel pressure real relative to manifold right so when we give this gas you're gonna see that fluctuate up and down so this is not gonna be as an effective way as actually hooking up a fuel pressure gauge and checking it that way but it definitely does help out on here so I hope this video helped you guys out. Please leave your comments and your questions below. And always make sure you disconnect your fuel pressure gauge here when the vehicle is turned off and not when the car is running. I'll have a link to any of the tools that I use in the video in the description box below. And if it's your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing for more money and time saving videos just like this. You know, if you guys have any comments, hit the subscribe button and I really appreciate your continued support.